So Dave, we're standing here over a cup. Yep. What is it that you want to do? I want to develop a cooking afternoon. Okay. Let's say a Monday afternoon. Yeah. And my idea would be to buy buy the produce on the Saturday. Yeah. And then on the on the Monday afternoon, I want to cook a range of meals. Okay. But I want it to be um, in fun. Yeah. But also efficient. So when you say fun, do you mean fun for you or fun to eat? Or fun for me to cook. Yes, okay, um, but Yeah, but fun to eat as well. Yeah, so does know? fun mean interested in you, so you always try new things? Or yeah, 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 it can okay. be interesting in you, okay. um, but I want to enjoy the cooking process as yeah. well. This tastes delicious, by the way. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing. So, um, what I have in mind, I've got a wide range of meat there, but let's say, for instance, we took the mints out. Yeah. You know, what let's say three or four meals can I make with mints okay. so that maybe two of them have got carrots in yeah. and they've all got onions in yeah. so I'm processing all, all of that veg maybe with the mixer maybe with the food processor or maybe with a knife yeah. but I can I can use them in each of the meals okay. um, so that it, it's efficient and I can do a lot in say two or three hours yeah. Yeah. and then I've got four different sorts of uh, meal, okay. so I can say to the kids when they come home, because a lot of this is to do with the kids who yeah. find it difficult to eat um, some of the things that yeah. I do, yeah. I can say, there you go, I've made four meals, which one do you want? Yes. And then the others can be either frozen down for the rest of the week, or yeah. maybe one kept in the fridge for the next day. Okay. That's what I'd like to achieve. Yeah. So you kind of dedicate an afternoon, cook for, yep. let's say, majority of the week, yep. and then the food's there, so that also means that the kids eat healthy food, Absolutely. rather than kind of go, oh, well, I want a pizza, you go, well, actually, there's five meals in there, you can exactly. choose any you one of choose. those. Plus, yes. plus, as I build the weeks up, yeah. um, some of them will be frozen, yeah. and if I'm cooking different things, yeah. then there'll be a complete variety. Okay, so we're here. Look at this, what a selection of fruit, all nicely parted, avocados, plums, we've got apples here from Dave's actual apple tree, these are a nice little cooking one, now, mm, these is E21 Jack there. The man is surrounded by glorious food, now, here, we've got some lovely salad leaves, we'll knock that up and make a salad to go with the KFC chicken, I throw in some cucumbers to go in there. I've got some lovely peppers that he's got. And do you know what? With all of the food that he's got, he's got a reduced one. And I don't see anything wrong in buying reduced food. You want to find a mixture of good quality food that will last some time. You buy some food that has short sell by dates or use by dates on them. And you find that mix because you have to be smart and savvy about the food you buy. And this man here, Dave, he's definitely savvy. We've also got some lovely, beautiful cherry tomatoes. We're going to put those into play. They will go with some salad. I've got some peppers, red, green, and yellow. I'm going to throw that in the actual chili. Onions, broccoli, fennel. We've got our green beans here. I'm just going to use all of it up. It's just going to be crazy. I'm just going to be dicing, slicing. I've got about an hour to go to make this all happen before all of the family gets back. It's time to get cooking and a lack it. Here we go. I also brought my nice little selection of spices, but hey, look, they are rubbish compared to what Dave has actually <laughs> out there. He's got so much. I brought these just in case of the emergency. The emergency is not needed. We'll throw those in the bin and we'll move on. So, <laughs> Dave, let's get chopping. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do is, yep. I want you to make the marinade for the actual chicken that we're going to be doing. Okay. So in there, I need yep. you to throw a good amount of flour, please. Yep. And then in that one there, if you can crack one or two eggs, yep. and then put a splash of milk in there, and that's going to be like the kind of the... Okay, um, don't want them separated. No separated. How much flour? Eggs and flour, just, you know, kind of maybe 200 grams worth, okay. just roughly, yep. everything's rough. Everything's no rough. problems at all. So, okay. Obviously, the first thing you want to get doing is you want to peel and get all of your mise en place prepped up. So, all of your onions, you want to get those diced. It's just going to make life easy. Now, Dave, what's been going on in your world? What have you been up to? Uh, what, what do you do? Tell us about you. What do you do? I am a, well, I'm, I'm virtually retired okay. and uh, I help people move through career transitions. Right. Maybe they're in a job they hate and they don't know what they want to do or maybe um, they've been made redundant and then I'll, I'll help them sort themselves out. Okay. 
So that's what I do. I've got lots of interest. I mean, the cooking is one. Yeah. I've got home cinema out there. I like to do that. Yeah. Um, I'm into aerobics. I'm in um, two walking clubs I go to. Okay. Which is quite good fun. Reading. Yeah. Love my family, love my kids. You might see them later. Yeah. Okay, so you've got that now. Now, yep. into the flour that you've got here, yep. can you put some kind of spices? Bring some spices out. So, some Cajun spice, black pepper, um, paprika. If you can bring it all out here, and then we can, I can then talk to you about how much we put in. Because a lot of people get frightened about how much to put in right. when it comes to that. And I'll tell you the formula. So, so far, I've got turmeric, ginger, yeah. cayenne. Yeah, cayenne's good, yep. Um, dry chilli. Yeah. Anything non chilli but smoky. So, do you have any yeah. paprika? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. So, because we're making several meals all together, I'm just going to just do the preparation and then I'll divide it into what I want. Has that been back. around too long? So, how, how long is too long? You're very frightening. Yeah. So, um, so uh, it, it says <laughs> oh, no. January 2004. <laughs> Best before. That's <laughs> got to go in. All right, stick it in the bin. January 2004. He's crossed it off and put 2013. I don't know what that means. Ah, that means I refilled it in 2013. You, in 2000. And what year are we in now? 2014. No, we're not. <laughs> Nearly 2017. That's got to go in the bin. Bin. No. Right. It's a good thing I brought some paprika, I tell you. Maybe maybe my emergency spices will no, come I'm into place. I might still have some. <laughs> We're trying to aim for the KFC 11 spices. So, you know, we need... Oh, I know I have got. I have got. I've got this in case you want to use it. One. Oh, you've got a splash of wine. Madeira. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. We use that in the actual casserole as well. Right. So look, saffron one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, then we'll use some of my spices and that will bring us up into the air. And now you want to give that a really good mix. So you give that a yep. mix up give there. Mix. Yep. Give that a good mix. And then we'll put all of these spices back. And then if you can bring out the chicken. Yeah. I, just, I know we're going to need some more salt. I'm really sorry. And I know right. we're going to need some more pepper. That should be lovely. Ooh. So that's it. Through the egg mixture. Lovely. And then into our lovely coating. And we're going to do that twice. All right. So now that the oil's hot, we can put the chicken in. We put that beautiful. There we go. Oh, nice and hot. And then we just give it a bit of a rotate. We don't want to fry these in here to cook them. We just want to seal them. We actually want to bake these in the oven so that they cook really nice and slowly the meat tenderizes but so look at that brown already and that's fine so if you're you know really having to watch what you you eat um, people can go oh you know you're low fat and you're low carb and you're low this I am low carbohydrate I try and uh, abstain if you can from flour but you know, you've got to be realistic as well. I'd rather get some really great quality chicken as we, what we've got here, cook it at home, know what's gone into it, and, uh, and be, be quite happy. All right. Two more pieces. Would we ever sprinkle anything on top? No, 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 it's all in. It's all encompassed. There we go. Good. Right. So we've got the meat out, that's really great. And so now we just want to get that diced into. Right, do you want this fat off? Um, no, 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 leave all of that fat. Fat's yep. really good okay. for us. 
So what I would do personally is, yeah, that's it, slice that down the middle. Mm -hmm. Does this one need sharpening again? Yes, yeah, that could do with a, a, a little edge on it. And then that's it, into, yeah, good, nice portions like that, that's lovely. Yeah. So it's good. So what we're doing is we've got the pan on here nice yeah. and hot, and we're going to brown that meat off. Uh, first, we're going to put it into a, a, a bowl like this. Do you have any kind of um, coconut flour or yes. almond flour or anything like that? That would be absolutely lovely. Do you want to stop? Yeah, if you get that, I'll carry on on the dice in there. We'll yeah. swap over. So, that's it, and then you've got some oil, haven't you? Uh, yeah, that, that should do, but maybe one more of those. Thank you. Now, in the old days, they would use normal, old, uh, normal plain flour or self-raising flour uh, for this, and, and that's just to help seal it. So, um, if we can put some oil in the pan, then... How much? Yeah, go all the way, a bit more than that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's perfect. So, putting some salt in. All right, in, straight in. I mean, not quite there yet. Some pepper. And then put that in. Yeah, not all of it at once, just yeah. in small batches. Money. Yeah, I know that might be. I've been told by these before. Yeah. I might have to. So now we just need to rotate that and put that in there for the final one. Yes, they look beautiful. Colour mm. already. Mm. That's it. I'm going to push that out. Put that in there. So we... And look, some of the... There we go. Ah. The meat is cooked. Oh, yeah. it's delicious. Right, let me just get this going. And even with the coconut flour, it still works. The coconut flour is there just to kind of help protect the meat and it helps it to mallard, to brown, to cook, to caramelise. And that's where you get the flavour from right now. Oh, it's going to be amazing once it gets done. Now look, look at that, perfect. We've yeah. got it on maximum heat, it's ready to go. We're going to put the vegetables in so we can then finish off our casserole and now do you have any stock any chicken stock or have you got any stock cubes we're going to put two of those in look at that that goes in there just got some of this hot water here you know you can use it from the kettle but i don't see a kettle around oh look at that a little splash of that to go in now already put some water in uh, so it's already bubbling, but I want to be able to cover that and look at that. Oh, that's amazing. And then just finally, I'm going to put in a little bit whoops, of tomato puree there. And that's going to help with the colour and also creating the gravy. We'll give it a final stir. Just give that a really good mix. And then from here, just pour that. Oh. All into the pan. Give it a mix. And then Dave, you've got the task of putting that into the oven, good man. So, look at that. Oh. Ah, didn't switch the other Now, that's a casserole with no recipe just using the basics of we want it to be colourful, we want it to be tasty and we want it to be delicious. All of that in one pan, lid on, we can then go and sit down, do things that, other, you know, that matter. All of this can then be put into lots of different containers, stored in your fridge or your freezer. Dave, my Job man, done. you're going to love it. All right. <laughs> right. Where's the lid? Where's put, the lid? put a lid on that. Right, we didn't have the oven on, so I'm just letting that heat up first. Yeah. Nah, just shove it in shove there. It in. Shove it in. So we're we'll bring that over. Cool. We'll wait on that, puppy. Take those out. I think. Oh, got the chicken in the oven, which has got a few more minutes left on it. That's doing really nicely in there. Yep. That's great. We've then got our casserole up in the oven there. Yep. Awesome. And now 
All I want you to do is to put the mince into that pan no for oil. me. Uh, no oil, because we're going to rely on the, the actual fat, fat yeah. to come out of that first. Now this is quite a good mincer, so I don't know how much fat there will be. Oh, okay. So I'll come back. So I'm just breaking down the actual meat. There goes my onion. We have a splash of oil in there, please, chef. We've got a splash of oil. Mm -hmm. Then, once my onions have a bit of colour, I'm going to go in with the fennel. Just because we have it. It doesn't have to be rocket science. So in with the fennel. In with the chilies. We've got the red chilies, we've got the green chilies, these as well. Seasonal. It's going to be hot. Then we're going to go in with the actual peppers. So that's our red pepper. Then we're going to go in with our yellow. <coughs> then we're going in with the green. All right. Then we're going to go in with our courgettes. Then I've also got our green beans. So this is just one big dish. Okay, and then lastly, we're going to put in, woo, it's alive. We're going to put in the cherry tomatoes. Wow, look at that. Who doesn't want to eat that? Who? Nobody in their right mind could say no. So Dave, what you want to do is we're going to make a quick meatloaf. Again, you've got this lovely quality meat here. Yeah. So obviously, as you know, we've got it in to our actual um, chilli here and it, it tastes amazing. It's yeah. got peppers and yeah. broccoli. I've got a little bit of bay leaf in there. The smell is awesome. We're going to come back to that in a few moments. Yeah. So with the remainder of the beef, I yeah. want you just to drop that in the bowl there like yeah. that. Yeah. Crack that egg in there. Okay, and then I yep. literally want you to pulverize that with your hands, really working that. Don't be shy, get both of those in. And whilst you're doing that, I'll be seasoning it and okay. I'll be putting in the actual spices. Yep, okay. So I'm loving this Himalayan salt here. So a teaspoon of your Himalayan salt, a little bit of your black pepper there. All right, then we're gonna go in again with a little bit of turmeric some paprika, coriander, cumin, okay, and a hint of curry powder, just a hint. Days run off to go and get some manuka honey or some type of thing. So we're here, we're just gonna finish that off. 